thank you. Welcome to the Obama Show. Um, my guest today is a civil engineer, a former English club leader. Alasan, second stage. Good to see you. Good to see you. Have a seat. Um, so together, let's have a look at this. It's an honor to, to you know, um, have people who are so good at English so often on the show. And you are one of those people who paved the way for English lovers in, in, in chess, and mostly those who belong to, to English club. You know, I'll tell you the truth. English club leaders I know in chess are not serious, like me, like An Matar An, Matar Chun, all those boys. But you, you've been very exceptional. Mashallah. And the first day we met, you know, it dated back in years when I was a um, high school student. I used to think that I was the best. But the day I met this guy, I was like, because you don't know, when you listen to him speaking, you will just realize why I say he is the best. Welcome to the show. Thank you. You are, you know, civil engineer, and have you? fulfilled your, your dream today? You, what you say, yeah, now I, I stop? Well, I say not yet, really. Mm. With high humility, I say not yet, because I think what you're expecting for a real understanding of engineer is not yet rich in Senegal, you know? Because what you think is just have to do, for example, you see, often once we get out of school, we train and say, okay, I have to be in an office company, something like that, have a nice car, stay there, get money. Mm. I'm telling you, yeah, and we have something like that. <laughs> and then I'm telling uh, what I discover in this field is you're more productive once you're on the field than in the office. All right. But you have to mingle the two things. All right. And I see on the way that I have a lot of things to do because I'm meeting a lot of people mm -hmm. from overseas country and also by the research you discover that you know nothing. Mm -hmm. Really nothing. Uh, yeah, you, you, you worked in a railway project. Can you tell us about that? The yeah. Yeah, project? Yeah, it, it was in, from training 12 to 2013, mm -hmm. I was working in the group MLG, mm -hmm. GCO project, right? And that project, it is worth to renew the railway truck mm -hmm. from Jogo, okay. from Jogo from to, to Dakar, to more Dakar. Width, right? All right? It was more than 153 railroads and have to renew We just try to identify the parts that it's not good, it's really dangerous for the train to run, mm -hmm. just fix it. Mm -hmm. by changing some fasteners, tiles, technical things, but anyway. All right. But it, it was really tricky, and also because there are a lot of interventions. All right. The Canadian people, Australian people, and Senegalese people were involved in mm -hmm. how it was. What was your role in that project? Well, that project spanned of, I mean, 18 months, mm -hmm. and I had two roles at the beginning. Mm -hmm. At first time, the first six months, I was an interpreter and a translator, I'm telling you. Right. Yeah, not as an engineer, not as a technician even, because at 2012, I was in my second year of being a technician, right? Oh, okay. And then I, I was an interpreter for the Canadian people mm -hmm. and the Australian. Mm -hmm. And after these six months, and my boss discovered that I had the degree of the technician. And I put it inside, tell him, okay. And he realized by the chance, right? That to put me as a technician, I, I will assist him the, uh, the head of the project. Right. And then over that, I was leading a very team, a big team that are the senior of railway engineers from the former, uh, the former company here mm. in Chess, mm. and I mean specialized in railway trucks. Right. It is my second part of, of this project. Mm. And uh, the, the, the last was really managing, managing a bigger team, bigger leaders for about project how it goes because I had to do every end of the day the productivity of each I mean section of the project. Mm -hmm. You know, one hundred fifty three kilometers we had in one section. And every day I should write the report in English and French, mm -hmm. send it to the boss and also this kind of work that he was been doing. It was a little bit tough in mm -hmm. a way but I've learned a lot about it. And did I mean were, were the, the objectives met uh, the of the project were they met? 
Yes, okay. yes. Objectively, we can say it, yes. But there is another kind of seeing, a kind mm. of view. We want to talk about a project, right? right, right. But for the objective of the project, it was met. And now, what are you doing right now? What are your your current projects? Well, right now, I have maybe, but projects have can be say, shared in, I mean, two parts. Mm. The first is I'm running my own business in the mm. company. I'm working with colleague mm. Dr. Fow, mm -hmm. and then. Uh, the project in general there is just to settle an institute. Whether you will see, I mean, there was psychological work in this institute that mm -hmm. we really emphasize on it. We did not start it yet because the project is being run, right? Mm -hmm. And the second part is how to show people, I mean, uh, for about their history, mm -hmm. you have to know first who you are mm -hmm. before. I mean, uh, getting some kind of knowledge. All right, all right. And related to this time, I think we will come back later to date. Mm -hmm. And we will really on this kind of thing that's how to, I mean, build a call, a mm -hmm. hard call, mm -hmm. really to improve something that we find that, I mean, there is within the people. All this right. is the general type right. of the project. All right. My personal one is in this STEM side, I have identified few problems of the scientific mm -hmm. in general. All right. The limit of science. Science finds some difficulties in mm -hmm. formula, something like that, theoretical and practical things. Mm -hmm. I have identified a few of them, and I have just put myself the challenge to find a solution of this problem. All right. I'll keep it with for me for mm -hmm. the time being. For time being. Because you're right. Let's do so. Okay, Let's yeah. do so. All right. So now you believe me. Leave your eye back. Welcome to Best English Learning Center. So my name is Sayyidina Mohammed Lai Sam and I am the co-founder of BELC, I mean Best English Learning Center. And that's a pleasure to be here with you today. Hi everybody, I'm so honored to be here today. The name is Shah Ahmad Asek. I'm a co-founder of BELC, Best English Learning Center, Senegal. English Learning Center guys is located here in Chess and we are providing tools and skills that give you the opportunity to express yourself in English within two months. We have offers and we're just targeting students and professionals to make them speak English and speak it very well. That's the main reason why. So we're training within two months by using the learning by doing approach. So which consists in putting students in a very practical and very efficient situations where they can express themselves naturally and in a very common way. So this is what we're doing now, and we're just inviting you all to come and join us if you want to speak the marvelous language of William Shakespeare. Thank you. We're back, we're back, we're back on stage, and uh, please guys, subscribe. You know, you have to go slowly, because I even don't understand what, you, what you're saying. You deliver it so high. People do not believe what I said the first day we met. I was like, is it possible? Just, just kidding. <laughs> Where did you learn to speak English like this? I know, I know you belong to English club, but not all the people who speak speak English like you with English club. I mean, I mean, all those boys who've been English club members don't speak English like you. People like me, they don't. Like Where did you learn to speak this English that this way? You have been in, 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 you know, abroad. You have been in, in a speaking English speaking country, or I don't know. I was speaking here. I say so here. Where have, you, where have you learned to speak English? Yeah. But I think it, it is okay, but that question used to come very really often. <laughs> sure. <laughs> okay, but it is just I mean a kind of love. When I was a kid, there, there was my aunt. She she was an English teacher mm -hmm. and is still teaching English. I used to hear him talking on the phone with friends speaking that language that I did not know before. Mm -hmm. And I heard, okay, but this language is really that sounds very good to my eye. I have to discover how what it is. And I was in primary school. Mm -hmm. And once in CGM, I discovered that that language is called English. Mm -hmm. And from that, I really deeply love that language. And I do efforts, practicing a lot. All the stuff that I do are not being away from being English things, English mm -hmm. stuff. Mm -hmm. And also that 
being emphasized more once I'm doing civil engineering mm. and some research because I've discovered that you know we talked about STEM, talked about science, mm. and uh, the, the best books are written on the first edition in English. And all formula I'm telling you that we're using in our technical and science domain are made by American people, Russia, and all the people. And the first language that they use is English. I felt myself inside when I was in civil engineer and discovering that I mean all are uh, in English and that's the switch of you know. <laughs> it's really I don't understand. Because people talk about the problem of the system, of our educational system. But this guy is a product of the system. So where the problem comes from? <laughs> so good. Now, uh, you, you said it a while back with the, those things. I don't know if you understand. You were talking about science. I was just doing like this, but I didn't understand. Mm. Uh, what do you think people should do to boost you know, um, science and technology in Senegal? In Senegal. It's a tricky question, really. Uh, well, I'm good at question. Okay, but I think here in Senegal, I think there are three steps that we have really to focus on it. The first it is, I mean, we, we are living in a nutshell. The system is living in a nutshell. There is really barrier somewhere else. For example, in our administration, you cannot get involved to the administration without mm -hmm. passing the schools that allow the administration to be hired there. It is a real problem. It is a problem, the first thing. And the second is, you recognize that we underweight science here in Senegal. Mm -hmm. People does not care about it because once you heard about science, it seems that, oh my God, it's complicated. Some people are looking like that. It's really crazy a little bit. It's not that. That's the image. It is false image that people are showing for about science. And the third thing is, if we did know our history, mm -hmm. where we're from, and where all these science that we are learning, that we have been taught by overseas students, overseas teachers, we know exactly that is for us. That seed that are growing there of America, of any kind of country, any kind of continent, they were from Africa, mainly in Egypt. It is that's, I'm coming back for the psyche work that I told you. Okay, right. you, you haven't answered the question. No problem. Okay. Look, English just good, so keep talking. I, I enjoy listening. <laughs> <laughs> I really enjoy listening to you. I really enjoy listening. Really, that, that's it. That's the, the way of science. And then we have to boost it by creating a kind of area that's really STEM free, STEM without border. Don't tell people that you are not a scientist, but you, you have some gift. We, we don't know if you're facing one kind of problem, you may find a solution. In Africa, I mean in Senegal, we have a lot of problems. What we need is people can find solution. You've been learning French history, something like that, and we're facing any kind of problem. That doesn't mean that it's the Indian who have to find a solution. Mm -hmm. No. You can find a solution that may be amazing, but that's what we have to do. We, an, I mean, an open area, that's any kind of people to identify every single problem of our community, of our society, mm -hmm. you come back and propose a solution. No matter how, you've been a teacher, you've been a student, you've been no way a seller or something like that. Right, you, 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 you man, you mm -hmm. person, and you have intelligence. We need that intelligence. All right. So you, you, you think uh, that everybody can participate in, 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 in this project? That's what no, we not told just, not just scientists, no, but no, everybody. Really, we are not close. We are really open. And we think African, right now, what we need is to be open. We hope that will happen yeah. someday. Thank you so much for being on the show. Um, this is the first time I will ask this question. I never asked this question before to anybody. But when you look at what you've been through since your childhood right until now, what is uh, the part of your life you are the most proud of today? Oh. Um, I told you, I'm good at asking questions. Well, I mean, uh, if we just try to be humble more about it, is just meeting people like you. Meeting people that, I mean, uh, can make you express yourself for a little bit, for a little thing. And also, for people that you know that you're nothing and you know nothing. And for people you know that you have to go back and learn again. That for people you know that you have to be really useful for your community at first. Mm -hmm. And you may think yourself, but I think 
once you have that faith to be useful, God will help you to be fit in order to be so you know the people. What you're most proud of is your connection with people. That's it. Wow. The, the, the question is great. The question is great, I recognize. But the answer is far greater. Thank you very much for being on the show. To the world. I know you got a lot to share with the world. And people, I would enjoy listening to your message. Okay, uh, my message to the world in general. Mainly, you let me stand for Africa. Mm -hmm. In particular, Senegalese young people. I'm just calling them to know that, I mean, uh, there is a psyche work. You used to hear about believe yourself, believe yourself, in a way it just worked. And in scientists, we are full to the point, not talking a lot, we just go full to the point to realize something. The message is for the young people, identify one problem of your community, of your society, one. Mm. One problem, I'm telling you, one. one just one problem. Or half a problem. No matter how, <laughs> and just try to find a solution, and then believe that if it is possible, together we can make it happen, and then together we will be prosper. Mm -hmm. That's the message that I have for mainly the young African, mainly in Senegalese people. I think it's the greatest message we have ever had. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, my guy, they confirmed. Thanks a lot. You are the best. You're welcome. Come on. Thank you so much, very much for being on the show. You're welcome. Thank you very much for being here, for inspiring Come us, on. for making me believe that I have to do more. I'm telling you, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not even doing it for the show because now the show is over. This is after the show. We talk frankly. Of course, we're going to broadcast it. Uh, but the truth is, when we met the first day, you remember that was uh, in the CDF, no, no, India. Yeah. We had to, put, you and I, we yeah, had yeah, to yeah. participate in a radio program. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, the first day, when, when you arrived, there was a lady, big and guy. She said, yeah, yeah. I was yeah. yeah. I said, well, who is that? When he spoke, uh, I, 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 I just wanted to, wanted to, to leave the room, because you were great, really, yeah. Come on, come on. Very, very yeah. wonderful, mashallah. It was you. He's Obama, that's you. Uh, come on, man. This is a this is this thing, man. And, you know, we, really we do it for sure. I'm really it's, pleased for attending this. It's my honor. It's I mean, my honor to, to see, uh, you know, English lovers uh, becoming not just teachers like me or uh, TV hosts, but scientists and doing great, 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 great things for, for the community. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Great. All right. <laughs>